Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix block shop multi Roblox not working. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're connected to the internet. If you don't have block shop already, I'm going to show you how to get it. So you're going to go to a browser. Okay, and then on the search bar, you're going to click on the search bar and you're going to search for block strap. And you're going to click on search. So you want to click on the first link you see by the official Blockstrap website. And then you're going to click on the purple button right there. Okay, now that you have Blockstrap and if it's not working, this is what you're going to do next. So you want to exit out of this and then you're going to open Blockstrap. So after you downloaded Blockstrap, it should look something like this. You should be in the integrations tab. So what you're going to do is Right below integrations, you're going to click on Bootstrapper. And once you're in Bootstrapper, on the first little thing, you're going to turn on Prompt to confirm when launching another Roblox instance. You want to make sure you have that on. So after you do that, you want to head over to Engine Settings. Then you're going to scroll down until you find the Frame Rate Limit. And you're going to click on the zero. Then you're going to put it to 240. Then... On the left hand side, you're going to see a little tab that says block strap. You're going to click on it. And then on the top, it's going to say automatically update block strap. You're going to toggle that off. And once you do that, your block strap should now officially work. If this video helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe for more.